With just over two months to go before the Sochi Olympics, athletes are putting everything they've got into training for a chance at gold. That thirst for victory is just as strong among the Paralympic contenders. Artis Medina Kochinova follows the story of one athlete who found the loss of his legs was no match for sporting ambition. This is my second family. 36-year-old Vadim Silukin is the captain of the 2014 Russia Sledge Hockey Paralympic team, and this training base is his home. We're here almost every day at this training base, morning till night, training. And while the games are just around the corner, the athletes are training even harder than ever. Every day is the same. We get up, we have breakfast and we train. On the days that we have a game to play, we arrive at the stadium an hour before, we spend some time to get ready and then we go and fight. But things haven't always been so crystal clear for him. Vadim lost both his legs while serving in the military in Chechnya. I remember everything like it was yesterday. I was completely lost. I didn't know what to do next. My friends from the army supported me. I got into sport. First I tried swimming, then athletics. In 2004, he launched a sport club for disabled sportsmen. His dedication to sledge hockey began five years later. At that time, sledge hockey was barely known in the country, and there were no teams, no coaches, no experience. But these guys managed to change that, fast and fearless, just like they play the game. It was strange at the beginning. I remember there were very few of us at first training. We tried the hockey sledge. We could not handle it at first. We were falling down constantly. Now the newcomers use us as an example. Patience, commitment to training and outstanding determination. Now these guys have it all to turn their lives around and become elite athletes to make it to the national team. Now the next big challenge is to be the first at Sochi Winter Paralympics. Sledge hockey has been a part of the Paralympics since 1994, but this is going to be the first year a Russian team has competed. And this year, the competition on the ice is going to be much tougher. Back in Canada at the World Sledge Hockey Challenge this year, we played against the teams of Canada and the US. They're very skilled athletes. We still cannot outdo their experience, especially in the little things. But we are trying very hard. More attention, competitiveness, pressure. But for any athletes, and Vadim is no exception, there is one thing that matters the most at the Olympics. Every player thinks only about victory, how to grab it and never let it go. This is important. Madina Kochnova, Tula Region, RT. Well, RT has been keeping up with Vadim Salukin for a while now and will continue to do so as he heads to Sochi. But if you want to read up on his story or watch our previous reports on him, it's all on our website, RT.com. Sochi, home of the 2014 Olympics. What's this place like and why is it so special? As the Russian resort prepares to welcome the world, how are the games shaping the city's present and future? What more Sochi will bring you? This is Tavon Mazzeo reporting from a very cold and uh, snowy, windy mountainous top here. Beyond the Olympics with Tabang Mazzeo, starting January the 1st on RT.